Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a short video with 6 must-have macOS apps if you are switching from Windows. So I was using Windows my whole life and I remember that when I switched to macOS I had some difficulties and I was missing some features and functionalities that I was used to. It took me some time to find all the apps and make this transition smoother and I wish I knew them from the day one when I switched to Mac. So if you are new to macOS I hope this video will help you out and save you some time. Not all of these apps are free, but those which are not cost just several dollars and usually they have a trial period so you can just try them out before buying. And before I start, if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button to help with YouTube algorithm. So let's get to the apps. So the first app that I want to show you is called Magnet and it helps you easily manage your open windows by snipping them to the side of the screen. As you know, Windows has a feature like this by default and on macOS we have a similar feature, it will hover on the button here. We can snap the app to half of the screen, but it's not as convenient and we don't have as many possibilities as on Windows and the app here allows us to do this quickly and easily. So let me show you how it works. So you can change the window to specific sizes by hitting particular parts of edges or corners of the screen. So for example, if I will hit top, as you can see, I have animation that the window will take the whole screen. And this is what happens. When I hit corner, you get one fourth of the screen on every corner. When you hit side, you get half of the screen. And on the bottom, you will get one third of the screen, depending where you will hit with the window. So if I will hit the corner, I will still get one fourth. But if I will move a bit further, I will get one third one third and one third and here again quarter of the screen. So as you can see this app is super easy to use and works very fluently. It looks almost like a native behavior. So very nice and easy to use. Of course you can also use keyboard shortcuts. As you can see here we have a preview of all possibilities. But I myself find just hitting the edges much simpler. As you can see it has very good rating and you can get it for $7.99. The second app that I want to show you is called Itzical. It's not available in macOS store so you have to download it from the web. And this is a small calendar app that gives you pop-up calendar with some quick actions with adding events and preview of your upcoming events. So you know that on Windows when you click on the calendar you have a preview of the calendar you can easily switch to see the next month or previous month and this is something that I was missing on macOS and this is what we get with Itzical. So I have this app already installed and when I click on the date in the taskbar you can see that I have a small calendar here. I can switch to see previous or next month. I can easily add an event, open the calendar or pin the pop-up window so it would be on top of everything if you are doing some stuff that requires quick access to calendar. I don't have any events in my calendar, but as you can see on the preview, the days on which you have some meetings or events are marked also with color depending on what you selected when creating the events. So it has very straightforward and clean look. There are also some configuration options. You can decide what you want to see in the menu bar, if it's only the date, what format or if you want also to see the hour. And actually if you are using Catalina or Elier, you can hide the original clock from macOS and replace it with Itzical. You can also adjust the look so it would look identical. And then when you will click on the icon, you will get this pop-up window. Unfortunately on Big Sur it's no longer available since the clock now is working as a button for notifications. So you can replace the icon only on Catalina and Elier and on Big Sur you have to use both. So I have the time hidden just showing the date since the time I have anyway from Big Sur. The app is free to use and you can download it from this website. I will put the links to all the apps in the description below so you don't have to look for them. And let's move to app number 3 and this is Dogmate. So Dogmate gives you the possibility to preview all the open windows when you hover on the icon of the app in the dock. This is also functionality that we know from Windows 
Normally on Mac, if you have several windows of the same app, you have to right click it and select the proper window. And with DocMate, when we hover on the icon, we have a preview of all open windows and we can just select the one that we need. This makes Windows management so much easier and I wish that this was a default feature in macOS, but it works pretty well in DocMate and also you have some additional features here as well. For example, for the apps like Calendar or Music Apps, we have some more advanced features. For example, with Calendar, you have preview of the meetings and with Music Apps, you have music controls. So as you can see, for example, with Spotify, I have a preview here when I hover on the icon and I can quickly switch between songs and play pause. So very convenient app. This is something that I was missing most from Windows and DocMate makes it super easy and super convenient. As far as I remember, there's a two week free trial so you can download the app and try it out. But the app is paid and it costs $14.99. So if you want to use it permanently, you have to buy the app from the website here. So let's move to the next app. And this is Alt-Tab. This app is a bit similar in functionality to DocMate, but instead of having the preview on the dock, we can just switch between all open apps using option tab. So as you know, we have a similar feature by default on Mac and you can switch with command tab with open apps. But unfortunately, if the app is minimized, it will not show up anyway. So for example, edge is minimized. If I will select it from here, it will not show up because the app was minimized. And with alt tab, it works for all the apps, even those which are minimized. So we can select whatever app if it's open, it will show up here. And as you can see, if I have several windows of the same app, for example, as I have here with Edge, all of them will be shown up as well. So this is also very easy to use and very practical and much better than the default feature from macOS. So if this is something you think you'd be interested to, I really encourage you to try it out. The app is free to use and you can download it from the website here. And as mentioned before, all the links will be available in the description below. So let's move to number five. And this is Carabiner Elements. And as it says here in the description, it's a powerful and stable keyboard customizer for macOS. So the app allows you to customize your keyboard keys. You can remap keys, switch them. As you can see here, I switched my right option key with right command key. You can also change behavior of function keys. And there is really a lot of possibilities as you can see here. You can select almost anything and any functionality. So very convenient, easy to use. And even if you need some more complex modifications, you can go to rules and click add rule and then select import more rules. And as you can see here, it opens website where we have predefined rules created by other users. And here you can just search for whatever you need. If this is some combination of keys, you can look for it here and then import it to the app. You can do this for many keyboards. So if you have built in MacBook keyboard and you want to do it only for external keyboard, you can do that as well, or you can do it for both, whatever you want. Very powerful app. So Carabinel Elements, the app is free to use and you can download it from this website or from the link in the description below. The last app that I want to show you is called El Media Player. So this is a simple video player for macOS. I found that QuickTime is not playing a lot of even popular extensions. So I had to look for some alternative. And I think I checked all the video players that are available in the store. And El Media Player is really amazing app. It's super simple, has very nice look and a lot of interesting functionality. So as you can see, it has very slick interface. You can select audio tracks and subtitles. What is nice, you can also easily look for subtitles directly from the app. You don't have to go anywhere. The app usually downloads the correct subtitles on its own. So super easy. And I didn't find any video format that it would not open. So it plays basically everything. And as you can see, even when you change the place of the video, you have a thumbnail with preview, even when you hover. So 
works a bit like with YouTube and really, as mentioned, this is by far the best video player that I found so far. The app is free, there is also a premium version but the free version has basically everything that you would need. I'm using myself the free version and I don't even feel a need to upgrade. It just works so well and has so many features. So I hope this was useful, please let me know in the comments which app you like the most and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.